Ever wonder what a fully water-cooled Aorus PC looks like? G'day guys, my name is Corey. I run the Designs by Fire YouTube channel and this is part one of a multi-part series where we'll be taking you through the progress and showing you guys how we tackle this build. So if you want to see us hack into a case, then stick around. You know, we used to do the progress videos back in the day uh, and you guys used to like it, but we ended up stopping it because we were able to actually get the whole time-lapse build done. However, it does take a lot of time, so I was thinking about bringing the progress videos back. Um, let me know what you guys actually think about that, because what I can do with the progress videos is actually take you guys through the step-by-step -step process as I'm going along. Like, for example, if I'm showing the time-lapse video, you guys wouldn't see all of this prep that I'm doing to actually cut out the case and make it to design. But um, what I'm doing here is I've got a piece of paper and I want to cut it to the design template size of a standard ATX motherboard. And the reason I want to do that is because I want to know how far I can actually cut off of this case each way and still be able to fit that ATX motherboard um, you know, in the middle there so if you guys actually want to see us do like progress and everything like that and then we showed the time-lapse builds at the end with the whole thing then we can certainly do that let us know down below if that's what you guys are into right now just measuring out what the motherboard size is uh, what's that 24 centimeters that's uh, another 24 then I believe the standard motherboards 305 millimeters 305 millimeters, so I only need it rough. Rough is fine, so 305 is actually spot on. So that's pretty good right there. So if I measure like this, we should be all good. There we go, nice easy template, and then I'll just cut that out and we should be good to go. Now this is going to obviously be very hard for me. Like right now you guys can't see my face or anything on camera. Unfortunately I don't have a cameraman, but that's okay. We make do with what we have and uh, we'll make it work. And that's kind of why we ended up resorting to time lapses as well, because it's, it's kind of hard for me to show what I'm doing and have my face on camera at the same time, unless the bench is actually up near my head. So let's actually see how this fits and then we'll be able to tape this up and get it prepped for, uh, for cutting apart. So what I'm thinking with the motherboard is we will keep it down from the top a tiny bit because I want to leave room for a hole to get the cables through. Actually, I might move it down a tiny bit more. Let's see what we got here. So let's go 80, 80 mil, make sure it's centered. So that's 170. That's 160, so we'll go five mil this way. Right, that should be good. So if I get that taped down, then we should be good to uh, work out where our cutting areas are. Now, for those of you that don't know what we're doing, we're actually going to be doing a steampunk, kind of space half steampunk type theme. Uh, we've got a little, a few ideas here and there with like cog wheels and, and actuators and things like that. So. We're actually just working from our head at the moment. We did um, do a tiny bit of a sketch, but we're not the best sketch artists, so we'll see how this turns out, but I'm sure you guys are gonna love it. The whole idea is we wanna centralize the motherboard, cut down the sides, and then add like a cogwheel theme design. Um, we're working with Aorus, so we'll probably put their logo on the side as well. We'll see how that goes. Right, so I've zoomed in a little for you guys. Now the idea is we wanna try and cut this at a bit of an angle and then go out to meet the middle of the case. And then we're going to cut a big hole through it so that it's easier to um, put our acrylic plate on there and then make some pass through holes for like all the cables and everything like that. So let's go ahead and we will try and measure up and mark up where we want it to start and finish then we should be good to go. Now, for those of you who don't know, we actually uh, just got home from work as well. So usually what we do is we'll work our, our eight hour day as a surveyor and then we'll come home, work on these PCs until, I don't know, like 10 p.m. to midnight sort of thing on a weekday. And then, yeah, we go back to bed and do it all again the next day. 160 is right there. Yeah. 
Then we'll go 160 on the other side, which should hopefully land about here. Hopefully it lands there and we'll mark that up. 160 is right there. We've got both sides marked with 160. Now we want to see how far down we want to go. I want to get about halfway, so I'm thinking, I'm thinking I might end right there. Right about there. So we'll measure that up and we'll see. We'll see where that comes to. Now this doesn't need to be too precise because we are going to be, you know, we're going to be cutting this and then we're going to be filing it and yeah, so there's still a lot to lot to go. Okay, now I don't necessarily want the cut to go completely straight like this. I kind of want to put a bit of a kink in it. So what I'm thinking is, if I mark it up straight like this, it'll give us a bit of a guide. And then I can put a bit more tape down to create the kink. And then we should have it nice and even on both sides. Come down from the top to about, I'd say about here. And then we'll come back out and meet up at this, the intersection of the two pieces of tape again. I think that's what we're gonna aim for. Let's see if we can replicate that on the other side as well. So this one is approximately 195 down from the top and ends yeah so that's one so that's 185 straight down 185 straight down which is about i'd say around here so that's 185 down so that should hopefully look exactly the same on each side Give this a go. I'll just draw this out so we have our guideline to follow. There we go, got a nice weird looking shape. I wonder if I should make that lower. Does that look weird? I'm trying to picture it without without this corner on there. I kind of like if so if I come down and maybe bring it down here a bit further. I'm kind of thinking bringing it down a bit more might look a lot better. Because just taking that top corner off, I don't know if it's doing enough for me. I feel like if this line and this line was the same length, then I think that would look pretty cool. So what I might do is add a tiny bit more of the tape on both sides and see if we can get that a bit lower. So there's not much of an angle on that one, but I do like the length of this one. So what I might do is if I shift this line up here a bit more, I can create more of an angle. So that's about a centimetre to the left. Yeah, that looks a lot better. Well, I've got my metal cutting disc on. This is going to be a lot of fun. Let's get into it. Hopefully we can cut through this with some ease. I've got my safety glasses on because this is going to spit metal bits everywhere. So let's do this. Well, we've definitely got the front part cut off. So once we undo that from the back of the case, we should be able to pull those off and then we just got to cut the back section to match and we should be all good to go. Let's, let's uh, get to it. So we've got the two side parts off for now. Let's actually go and tape up this part so we can get a nice clean cut on there. And we can go ahead and grind these nice and smooth, give them a bit of a file and it should be good to go. I'll get this painter's tape on now. It's a really good guide actually. All right, let's go ahead and cut that out and then we can move on to the acrylic. So we can see that all of these, the back panel and the front panel, they line up pretty good now. I'm gonna have to clean up with the grinder and um, the file, uh, the sides a bit. Um, they are a bit sharp at the moment because we have just finished grinding it down. But 
all in all, it's turned out pretty good. We've got the motherboard still fitting pretty good, and then we've got room down here. Also, a lot of it's gonna be at the back as well, but the main function for the front is we want to sort of side um, doors that open and close with actuators. And then this part here, we're actually gonna decorate with some steampunk style uh, themed things like uh, cogwheels and, and different things like that. So it's gonna look pretty cool. Um, right now, what I'm thinking is we might get the acrylic and we will cut out these sections here on the acrylic. And then I'll probably call that for progress one. We'll see where we're at. And then the next part is to create the motherboard standoff holes and everything like that inside of the acrylic. And we also have to cut out this middle section as well, um, just to make it easier for when we do cut the holes for all of the cables and that to go through the motherboard tray, they could go straight through and we don't have to cut those holes in the metal itself. So it'd be much easier doing it that way. So what I think I could do is just use the case itself as the template uh, I want to use it before I actually get this nice and smooth because I am going to be taking some chunks out. So what I can do is I can probably get the acrylic part onto the case and then I can work on taking this down nice and smooth with the acrylic on there so that it fits nice and snug and the acrylic is also nice and smooth with the case. So let's go ahead and I'll just measure this out. I'll use the case as the template. Go along there. Now it doesn't need to be perfect because as I said, we're smooth. We've got plenty of room to play with and we're going to be smoothing it out as well. So let's go along here. And the last part is right here. So I'll just quickly go along that with the grinder, cut those pieces out and then we'll see how it fits on the top. Should look pretty good. Uh, if it doesn't fit properly, as I said, you know, we'll just sand, sand down these sides, grind them down to make it all nice and snug. Well, there you go, guys. That's progress one, all done. As you can see, it's actually a pretty nice fit. There's obviously we've got to clean up the edges a little bit. That'll probably start in progress too. We'll start on that tomorrow. Very busy day today, but um, you know, we got through a lot. We're starting to see shape of the case as well. Got the main acrylic part, which is all cut out. That's good. So we'll be able to start getting the motherboard sectioned on here, getting the standoffs in, figure out where we need to put the 24 pin hole and everything like that. Uh, so, that's what we're going to be up to in the next progress. Hope you all enjoyed. Remember, I am very curious to see if you guys actually like talk through videos as well, because we could do those throughout the week and then do the time lapse at the end. Let me know if that's something that you guys do enjoy. But um, yeah, this is progress one of our awesome Aorus PC that we're doing. You guys know what to do. Go check out all the links below. We'll have specs and everything like that. Uh, if you want to support us on Patreon or become a YouTube member, that's down below as well. That helps us out a bunch to afford, like things like acrylic, for example. Um, this sheet right here is actually 30 Australian dollars. So, you know, they don't go <laughs> a long way. These things do get pretty costly and we've got much more acrylic that we're going to be using. So yeah, your support's greatly appreciated. And you know, all of you guys who have jumped over there over the past couple of weeks, to help us out it's been absolutely amazing and you know our current patrons and everything can't thank you guys enough so anyway if you enjoyed videos like this consider hitting that subscribe button and we'll see you all in the next one